Hello, everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week of August 26, 2024. A very special happy birthday to my mom, Nancy. I love you, mom. So as we get into this week, I'm going to be bringing up angelic messages, things that you need to know, and some guidance on how to cope with or how to come through whatever's coming up for you. Now, I do want to say right here in the beginning, we are fast approaching September. So what does that mean? We're setting off all of these portals. Now, every month there's a repeating number vibration in, on a day, uh, and that does have its own meaning, but it always seems to kind of pick up speed towards the end of a year because it comes with endings. And we as humans, we really don't like endings, do we? We don't like change. So that's already sparked off with the 8-8, eight, eight, and this year it was 8, 888, eight, eight, Lionsgate Portal. Uh, and then it's going to go into 9-9 and then 10-10. This is the one that I've noticed a lot of people get triggered by. October and kind of December, I guess, as well. Those are the busiest times for me for personal readings. And everyone's coming in. It's about half and half. A lot of times it's like, I'm so ready for this one thing to be done. Is it done? <laughs> Tell me it's done. I want it to be done. And then in other cases, it's I'm afraid... You know this is going to fall apart um is it is it really is it really time for that to happen or you know is, is something else ending so i'm putting that out there now because if you want a personal reading all right get in line now get your 1010 portal reading through angelic messaging now you can combine that you could do a reading request where we start with the nine nine energy and we go to the end of the year see how that story is going to play out for you. If you want to focus heavily around that 1010 portal energy, I recommend you do it. Okay. I recommend that you look at that. I mean, you don't have to get a reading if you don't want to, but I'm saying make sure you're taking that seriously. I've never not had something pretty big happen around that date. And it doesn't mean that it's bad. It can actually be really good. So angelsouls444.com if you want to do a personal reading with me. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let's tune into the energy of this week. Let's see what's going on there. <sighs> I feel like people are just kind of like, oof, like shaking things off. Uh, <laughs> this might have been a wild time. I have now, I would say for months, I've consistently not published on Sundays anymore, like a video. I don't know what it is. Like I get up to, um, like I had a schedule and then all these things would come up or I'm just completely drained or, you know, something like that. Now, that can be a sign that you're prepping to release, okay? So a lot of things that just seem to like be up in your face to, you know, be focused on right now, it might be because those things are taking up too much of your energy because you're worrying about them. And it could be as mundane as I gotta go to the dentist, I gotta get my oil changed, I gotta get to the grocery store, it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? It's whatever is just getting too amplified in your energy field, it's coming up with a sense of immediacy so that it can be cleared away. Something else is going to be coming up that needs your full attention. Yeah, so here we have the secret. Now you can interpret this a lot of different ways. To me, this is going within and looking at the recesses of your mind. Those darkened corners where we shove things and if we can't see it, it doesn't exist, right? So <laughs> to me, that's what this is indicating. But I also, whenever this card comes out, I don't know why I'm always drawn to the third eye. Open that power up. And yeah, we associate the secret with the book about manifesting and, you know, all of that. Something within, they're saying your psyche needs to be opened up. Now, of course, always do this with support. Get with a mental health care practitioner, someone who's actually licensed. Don't just let spirituality be, you know, a replacement for that. This goes with that. All right. So. This is going within, strengthen that third eye, be working with Metatron and see what comes up. Because again, I'm getting chills and tingles right before I started. I was getting a ring in my ear, like, like a high pitch, like download kind of ping kind of thing going on. 
So this is active, but subtle. Not everything has to be in your face for it to be effective. Okay. So there's that. Intimacy. So getting more comfortable with yourself and within yourself. Being more comfortable with your thoughts and your feelings, or at least being comfortable enough to look at them. Now, some of you, I mean, if you're surface level, uh, could this mean like, hey, heads up, someone's got a secret and it has to do with intimacy? Yeah. I mean, that could be for some of you because not everybody comes to these videos with the same energy. Some people are coming here and they're ready for that deep, you know, soul level transformational energy. And yet others are coming along and they're still learning their lessons in partnership. Okay. And that's I'm definitely feeling like it's coming up here. Acceptance. Oh, there's such a beautiful potential here. There is such a beautiful potential here to accept. Hey, this is where I'm at. I'm going to look at the big picture here. If I don't like my job or I don't like my current living situation or I don't like, you know, what's going on in my friend groups or with my love partner. Did I say that already? <laughs> with my love partner. Whatever is going on there. There's a level of acceptance here. And realizing that when we step into these bodies and we take on these soul contracts, we take on these stories, these stories are in place and crafted for good reason. So even if you feel like, hey, I'm not doing much with my life, that's not true. Just going through the human experience is one of the most complicated things that you could possibly do. So you are on path, Gaia. Yeah. The heartbeat of the earth connecting with you, you feeling cleansed, work with Ariel, Archangel Ariel. We associate her with nature. Sandalfin is also incredibly grounding. Sandalfin complements Metatron, right, with the third eye. This is really asking you to tap into like the authentic power that we innately are born in with. That pattern uh, thinking, that the kind of conditioning that starts happening when we're kids, that can start to kind of diminish some of that or get us to forget it more than anything. But there's a restoration happening here. Now, it's a little clunky. <laughs> it might be for some of you a little unpleasant. It might be a little unpleasant. It might be a hard thing of admitting, you know, I'm not cut out for X, Y, and Z. You know, I was telling some people a few days ago that when I was a child in fourth grade, in the place where I went to school, in fourth grade, they have you pick an instrument if you want to, and you learn to play it. Well, I picked up the violin and I'm in fourth grade. I pick up the violin I'd been playing. It was like from school years from the fall to the next spring. So within that time, I was playing at a high school level. And I remember the fear of the attention that that brought me and how like people were sort of, uh, especially one person wanted to kind of come in and lay claim to that. Now, this person also wanted to nurture that within me, wanted to send me off to a school where I would have been away from my family. And I just, again, I remember that absolute terror of, Whatever this is, whatever just came through me is going to consume me. It's going to take me over. It's going to run my life and I have so much life to live. There are lots of things I want to experience. So even as a young child, I knew I didn't want to sacrifice to the level you would have to sacrifice to be the master of something. So as I've gotten older, <laughs> I've come to realize that about myself, that on my soul's path, I was really meant to be an experiencer. That's a hard word to say, <laughs> experiencer. And therefore, I was just kind of having a lot of different life experiences. And then I start thinking, gosh, what would, it, what would it be like if I did go back to music? What would that look like? Maybe I would fail. Maybe it wasn't nurtured <laughs> enough over the years. But this is that sort of thing where it's like realizing, hey, I have to admit, I had a terrified feeling that something I loved was going to overtake me or distract me or get me off path. But this 
this could be the sort of thing that's going on where you're freeing yourself, but having to kind of, I don't know, it's like going through a maze a little bit. The The image that I'm getting in my head is like, gosh, here, here I go trying to explain this. Um, like there's all these like things hanging down. They're almost like wind chimes, but like gigantic, the size of you kind of wind chimes and they're swaying around and you're walking through them and you're having to dodge a little bit, but they're so big and they swing so kind of almost gently. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get hit by one of these, but you have enough time to kind of navigate through it. So it's not this, it doesn't have to be, I guess, at least a chaotic experience, but it's you walking through. It's walking through all these obstacles and finding your way around it and doing so in a very grounded way. So this is the how, this is what the angels are bringing through on how to get through this time is making sure that you're seeing it like this is a gentle walk through. Yes, there are obstacles, but these obstacles are not going to take me out, right? Trying to not let yourself get overwhelmed and realizing that little by little, you can handle this. You can come on through and remaining grounded when you meditate at the end of the day, especially when you're meditating with these archangels that we're talking about here. And you let that energy go, especially if someone's trying to emotionally manipulate you and that'll happen because people, not everybody's on the same page here, right? So if you were attracted to this video, you may be one of those people who is going through this sort of maze and trying to come on through, but other people might be kind of out here yelling and screaming and hooting and hollering and like wanting to know what you're up to, you know, all those kinds of things. So you are getting more comfortable with quite honestly, I think it's something you've already healed. Like it's something you have finally managed to come to peace with. So I just want to pull one more card here and then I will break it down into the dailies. Again, past couple of weeks got away from me again, but I'll try to try to get back on track with the dailies. Let's go. Yes. Knight of Gabriel. So Gabriel's another one to be working with this week. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. This is what you're regaining this week. This is what you are stepping into. This is what you are becoming. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. So a fog is lifted. Okay. A fog is lifted and you're realizing I don't have to run through the obstacle course. I don't have to do it in 10 seconds. If I'm calm, the calmer I can be, the better I will navigate things. And then there's this, then you step in. So really when it's time, that creative life force will come back online, right? You're going to get super motivated, probably really creative because that's what Gabriel helps us with throat chakra and the sacral chakra. Okay. The speaking creatively and then the emotional body, again, the creative life force being in the sacral chakra. So this motivation may come after some of the other realizations. Okay. So as you're working through things, you're going to find that you pick up a project again, or maybe you're finally motivated. This is just, to me, this is just motivation. And it could be you're motivated to connect with another. And that message right there, I'm going to say that's for the people who have been single for years. It's not really for anybody else. If you were the one that looked around and said, huh, I don't function like this. I don't want to live a life where I'm controlled or there are these rules and expectations and I want to live for me. Like I want to go figure out who I am. I want to go heal myself, right? I'm in this group too. And that's why I can speak so clearly on it. This could be a time for you where you get clear on what you want. And maybe that is to stay single, but for some of you, you might say, no, I'm ready for a connection with another person, but you're still not lowering any standards. You are not going to allow someone to talk to you in a disrespectful way. You are not going to allow anybody to control you, possess you, <laughs> none of that. It's if we're putting it on a scale of like super low key is like a one and super 
super high is 10. This is at a four or five with like the energy. It's very Taurus energy, right? It's sort of like just kind of going along. You can't push me. You can't tell me nothing. I'll do it on my own good time. Um, when I want to rest, I will rest, you know, that sort of thing. So let me know how this is resonating for you. Let me know if you care to in the comments, how did this make you feel? What did this spark within you? If you're watching it for the second or third time, did those messages change for you? And of course, if you want a personal reading, just go to angelsouls444.com. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <music>